I got the shades on, so you know I'm being dead ass serious. 100% serious. Every once in a while, I gotta start a video with the shades on for a pattern interrupt because this is an, an important video. I'm gonna tell you why speech techniques do not work when trying to overcome your stutter. There's three parts to this, all right? The first part is I'm gonna define what overcoming, stutter, overcoming stuttering means, then I'll tell, I'll tell you two reasons why speech techniques will, will not get you there. So we can all agree there's no such thing as 100% fluency, right? There's no such thing as it. Even the most fluent person in the world that doesn't think he or she has ever stuttered they still stumble, they still stutter from time to time, even if they're unaware of it. There's no such thing as 100% fluency. And being a person who stutters since stress levels and since tension levels affect your speech and affect how you feel about yourself, there will be times where you will still stutter from time to time. Overcoming stuttering means being able to express yourself however the fuck you want to express yourself, regardless if you stutter or not. Because once you're in that mode where you're expressing yourself, regardless if you're stuttering or not, expressing yourself the way you want, then stuttering no longer becomes a problem and it no longer becomes something you need to avoid. And once it no longer needs to be something to avoid, you no longer need to think about it. It no longer persists. Not nearly as much. Like night and day, you're just this effortless version of yourself. So why do speech techniques not help you to get to this level where you do not care what people think and you are expressing yourself regardless if you stutter or not? Well, this may be more than two parts because another idea just popped into my mind. The, the first thing I want to say is speech techniques have an inherent, an inherent type of belief or approach that comes with a speech technique. And this, in, this inherent belief is that you shouldn't stutter. Use this speech technique to avoid stuttering. And just like I said, the goal is to be able to express yourself authentically, regardless if you stutter or not. So if you're constantly thinking about, about something that is inherently saying you shouldn't stutter, you should do this to speak fluently, speech technique, then you will never be in the complete understanding that it's okay to stutter. And that is the most freeing spot to be in because we're all going to stutter from time to time. No matter what you do, no matter what route you go down, you might as well work on the shame and the embarrassment and the anger and the frustration that come with the stutter. So you're no longer needing to avoid it or hide from it. So when it comes up from time to time, it's just like, hey, little friend, I haven't seen you in a while, but here you are. It's not a big deal. All right. So speech, te speech techniques come with that inherent bias, that inherent belief that you shouldn't stutter. The second reason why is because you have to practice and practice and practice and practice and practice and practice, and practice these speech techniques in a room by yourself, read out loud and get it ingrained into your brain in order to use it out in public. But the truth is you're practicing in a very low stress situation, a very, very low stress situation. You're in a room by yourself. There's no tension. You're, you're not going to stutter either way. You, in order to overcome your stutter, you need to practice not speech techniques, but you need to take action and practice in high level stress situations. 
And you may say, how, how can I go to high level stress situations if I am completely afraid of it? Then there's that desensitization process. And that's what I went through. And that's what all my clients are going through right now because I help people this, the same way that I overcame it by slowly desensitizing yourself to more and more stress levels while not engaging the fight or flight response. And it takes certain mindsets and it takes certain pers perspectives and intentions to come into the interaction with to not trigger this fight or flight response. But the truth is, once it's not being triggered through the work that you go through, you come to an understanding it's completely safe to be yourself here. Holy shit, there's, there's no danger here. You only constantly think there's danger in an interaction when that response, fight, flight, or freeze is getting triggered. So you, the way you work on a speech technique is a lot of the times by yourself. And without addressing the value you give other people's opinions of you, you would never be able to even use this speech technique in high stress situations. Your mind's gonna go fucking foggy. You're gonna lose all sense of holy, how, how do I even breathe here? You're not even going to remember to do a speech technique. You're going to be in a fight or flight response, just panicking. You need to work on that. You need to work on not getting put into that, not getting put into that response. Okay. And the third reason is because a speech technique simply doesn't address the root issue. It's like you, we all know, we all know about the iceberg of stuttering, right? The stutters at the top and that's what everybody sees. And then underneath it all is the shame, the doubt, anxiety, fear, guilt, all that shit. Speech technique <laughs> does not address any of that shit. It addresses the fucking iceberg, the most surface level shit, the, the cut, you put a bandaid on, but underneath your fucking arm is all swollen and infected. You're just working on the speech. You're not working on why you're giving so much why you're caring so much about what people think of you. Why your relation, why your relationship with yourself is you saying perfection is the only thing acceptable here. Why you're not giving yourself room to make mistakes. Why you're not giving yourself room to be fucking human. Why you're so hard on yourself. Why there's so much shame connected to this. What have you learned about yourself or what beliefs have you ingrained in, in the past that makes you feel like you're not enough in certain situations? Why do you feel the need to prove yourself? Why do you feel the need to please others? Why the fuck do you feel the need to have a, a wall up to pretend like you don't stutter? Those are much better questions to address. Those are much better questions to answer and work on and overcome. Because once you deal with that iceberg, the shame, the doubt, the guilt, the fear, the anxiety, and you no longer feel like stuttering is something to avoid, you have overcome it. You have overcome it. So speech techniques, if you want to overcome your stutter, don't go. Sadly, that's like 99% of speech therapy, but that's also why it doesn't work. All right. That's why speech therapy doesn't work is because you're getting taught speech techniques by someone who went to school who didn't overcome this themselves. So if you are serious about overcoming stuttering authentically without speech techniques, but by addressing the real root issues the same way I did in the same way all my clients are doing right now as well, then you can book a free one on one call with me. We can hop on a call. I can analyze your situation, see where you're at, see what you're struggling with, see what your goals are and if if your goals and your struggles are aligned with what i can help with and i'm certain and i'm certain i can get you to your goals we can get you to your goals then we can hop on a second call and actually plan out what that would look like so if you want an introduction call to meet me about 15 minutes 
so I can get a good look at your situation and guide you in the right direction. Book that free one-on-one -on -one call down below in the description, first link, and uh, I love you. All right, I'll see you on the call. Don't use any speech techniques. Take action now. There's only one way to success, and it's fucking action. All right, I love you.